Now, researchers say that radio waves from Elon Musk's growing network of satellites are blocking scientists' ability to peer into the universe. The scientists say that the new generation of Starlink satellites, which provide fast internet around the world, are interfering more with telescopes. They say the thousands of orbiting spacecraft may be hindering astronomical research, while SpaceX, which owns them, hasn't commented. With, uh, with me is Dr. Emma Gatti, a former NASA scientist and editor at Space Watch Global. Thanks for joining us. How much of a problem is this? Well, it is a problem. Hi, Gita. It's a problem because uh, radio astronomy especially relies on the ability to see stars very far away, very far distant from us. And with all these satellites, they're basically blinded because the satellites are so much closer to Earth than what they're trying to observe. So it is a problem indeed, absolutely. But obviously the satellites um, have a function in terms of, of providing fast internet, often to troubled parts of the world. Um, how could this be sorted out? Should it be regulated? Is, is it regulated? So uh, it's a kind of complex uh, answer because what is regulated is the fact that uh, satellites cannot transmit uh, in certain bands. So certain bands uh, radio bands are completely off for satellites. So theoretically, these bands are reserved for science. The problem is that we have in so many satellites that they kind of emit uh, as a sort of mistake. So it's not the satellites that is emitting, because theoretically it cannot, but all the equipment, all the electrical circuits in the satellites are kind of producing a backdrop of emission. And this is impossible to regulate. They cannot stop it. And this is where the problem arises. So it's a kind of like secondary effect. OK, and, and so what sort of research is, is not being able to be carried out as a result? The entire field of radio astronomy is struggling completely because uh, uh, this, we are at the moment having 11,000 satellites and they are really struggling. And we plan to have 100,000 satellites in 10 years. So you can imagine that this means fundamentally a complete stop at the entire field of radio astronomy. Radio astronomy is that kind of astronomy that is using radio frequencies to observe the farthest object in our universe. So that's uh, an entire field of, of science that is struggling and it will struggle even more. OK, and, and just just explain for us what a satellite is. We're seeing some some fly by and, and you say that they sort of blind the, the researchers and therefore they can't see. Is it as simple as that? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's not. So there are two ways in which a satellite can disturb. It can visually disturb because the satellite itself is not a bright object. It doesn't have any light, but if it gets hit by the sun, it becomes bright. So it can okay. disturb what we call visual astronomy. But then it can also disturb through radio emissions. So okay. yes, several ways to disturb. Emma Gatti, I'm so sorry I asked you a really big question and I only have 30 seconds, so that was entirely my fault. But thank you so much for talking us through it. It's a really complex area. There's a great piece online if people want to find out a bit more.